The Parma Research and Extension Center was actually established in 1922 and it, one of those things where the local industry had a problem and they came to the university and said, we need help solving a pest that's ravaging our alfalfa crops and we're willing to put in some support to help initiate the program and from there it really built over the years to what it is today. The Parma Station actually consists of about 200 acres. There's 80 acres up in an orchard area about three miles north of the main station. And the main station has about 120 acres. About 80 of that is farmable and row crops for research. We have a lot of really high value specialty crops here. So we're one of the few locations, even in the Northwest, that does research on seed crops, fruit crops, hops, mint. So some of those things that are kind of unique to the Treasure Valley region of Western Idaho and Eastern Oregon. And then we have a range of disciplines. So we have scientists working in plant pathology, nematology, agronomy, um, soil science, you know, just kind of the whole gamut of sciences that impact crop production. So it's, it's really a nice mix of a unique cropping system with a wide range of disciplines to study those cropping systems. So the work we do here impacts agriculture not only on a statewide basis but a, a nationwide and worldwide basis but I think one of the the visions for Parma going forward is to play a really key role in diagnosing samples that come in with unknown pests, diseases, weeds, things like that. So we'll have the expertise and the lab facilities here to be able to handle those kind of samples in isolation and do the work needed to identify what is the problem that's causing this plant to be sick and then provide the answers on how to control it. I think agriculture is, is you know, really important for Idaho. You know, there, there is a lot going on here. You know, it's, it is of, it's not just national importance, it's an internationally important, you know, agricultural, you know, growing area. So um, it, it's vitally important that the, the, the excellent growers we have have access to you know, the latest technology and um, world-class expertise as well. I think people appreciate the, the new technology we're evaluating here at Palmer. So, you know, the, the, this new technology, it might not be any good, but I think it's really effective if, if the university system can evaluate that technology before it's taken up by the growers. So we, we're kind of like, you know, we can help them be early adopters or we can screen for technology that's not any use, you know, and, and, and save the, the industry a lot of money from trying it themselves. We, we have the benefit of trying it in a risk, uh, a sort of a, a, a scientific manner. In a way, um, our positions are set up is that we combine research and extension and teaching. So a lot of centers like that would only have researchers and they don't really teach students or do any extension work and uh, some other people work with those researchers to extend. But we actually combine all of those. Um, we teach students, undergraduate and graduate students and um, also do extension. We offer so many different benefits to the general public. Uh, we don't just do research, we don't just do training, we do all of the things. We do research, extension, education, we offer several different types of um, uh, trainings and seminars and a lot of them are free or very little cost. Uh, so from like pruning trees to how to manage, manage their water, you know, we, we can help with that. So we can help on a larger scale in terms of, you know, long-term projects, but we can also help just a, a small um, gardener who has a small garden, how to manage their soil and how to look at soil reports or something. We can do all of that. And I think that's uh, what public needs to know, that we're here and we're a service to the uh, public. Well, I think the University of Idaho is the only place in the state you can really go to get these non-biased answers uh, to new issues, new technologies. I mean, we really have the ability to evaluate new information and develop new information and disseminate it. Uh, no other university in this state has an extension system where we can get the information immediately out to the people that need to use it. And that's true not only in agriculture, but in other aspects of everyday life in this state. So I think we're really key 
to helping the people of the state make good decisions, to be more profitable, to be more sustainable, and really have a brighter future. And the mission that we accomplish here is really critical to that for every consumer, for everybody that cares about the Idaho economy, because agriculture is such an important part of this state. And I think the work we do here directly impacts agriculture every day.